All right, everyone, welcome. Uh, I am Conley Woods, this is TCGplayer.com, and we are about to enter a Swiss draft of Shadows of Innistrad. Uh, it's the pre-release on Magic Online. Um, so decided, you know, I wanted to write a little bit about the limited format, so might as well uh, accompany that with a uh, with a draft. So we're going to join in here. It's, again, it's a pre-release draft, so can't necessarily expect the highest level of competition from your opponents, but then again, we could easily run into good players as well. Uh, mostly we're just going to be looking to, you know, explore, uh, explore what we're able to, to come up with. And right away we have a really sweet rare to potentially draft around, so I think I'm just going to take it. Uh, it's also worth quite a few tickets, I believe. Not that I'm going to let that influence my pick here. I think it's just probably just an awesome rare to, to try to play with. Getting five creatures in play in limited is much, much more doable uh, than... Construct or much more doable in in, in uh, average deck than in constructed. Obviously, a deck in constructed that's trying to do that will be able to do it better. But taking this and just knowing that whatever kind of strategy we end up in can potentially hit five creatures. Not to mention this has a way to generate its own creatures. So seems pretty sweet overall. Um, and I think if this weren't here, I might take Gloom Widow as a solid contender. Uh, there's. Intrepid Provisioners down here, who's pretty good if you're going to draft like Green White Humans or whatever. Um, I think this guy's okay, Stitch Mangler. Daring Sleuth, I'm not exactly sure how, how much I like Daring Sleuth yet, although I've heard the Blue Green Clue deck is pretty strong. Uh, but in general, this pack is not all that. This rare is bad. Harness the Storm. Um, and another advantage of being on Magic Online when we take this is our opponents don't get to see that we took it, which is kind of nice. All right, so we have some sweet options here. Uh, right away, I looked at Near Heath Chaplain. So it does a couple things. One, it is a 3-1 lifelink for four, which is fine. But the ability to cast Moonlight Bargain, or not Moonlight Bargain, uh, Moonlight Haunting, Haunting, I don't remember the name of it. Two man, a three mana put two one ones in the play. The ability to do that uh, when we already have an Abbey is something that's pretty attractive because we're probably going to want to be some type of black-white deck. Uh, alternatively, if we want to be safer, there's a dead weight here, which is just a solid all around good removal spell. There's also a puncturing light, which is a much worse removal spell. Uh, reduced to ashes, which is worse than dead weight, I would say, but still very good. Um, and then there's also a wild field scarecrow, which I think is a fine, very safe pick, just because it's an artifact creature that enables delirium. But I think I'm going to go with the chaplain here. I'm not 100% on this being better than dead weight, but if nothing else, I want to try it out. Um, and it's a, it's a, I think it's a really sweet card. I rated it very highly uh, for my limited review. All right, no white cards in this pack, and the black cards are not exactly uh, all that exciting. There's Merciless Resolve, which is meh. This guy, which is meh, and this card, which is meh. Man, I guess the pack's pretty bad in general. There's the one mana two one, which is fine. I might just take them. Um. Calling Sensation is another option. This card's very good, but obviously you have to be a very specific deck to use it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of any of this stuff. I, I could just take this, I guess. But what are the chances I run it? I don't know. It's either that or take the one mana 2-1. Just something I could still play. It could still be like red-white. Uh... Yeah, I'll go with the one mana two one. I think I'll get a plenty of chances to get a merciless resolve. All right, then we're back at it with with a few white cards. Although one of the white cards we did get is pretty good for what we're trying to accomplish. It does make two one one flyers. Um, so I'm interested in that. There's also the corpse trawler here, which I played with. He's legit. Uh, his ability is a little more expensive than you would think, so we don't get used as often as you'd like. But he's still good. Drink my forty here. It's not. It's water. Um, there's another reduced to ashes, which would be a fine follow-up. So it's kind of like, do I want to stay white or red? I, I just don't feel super drawn to the Gorger. Even though reduced to ashes is probably slightly better card than Vessel. Vessel is not bad by any means. This would give me multiple flying token makers. We can maybe start ramping up on that. Uh, but again, every card we take here is not exactly, like, awesome. I mean, I would, I guess I would first pick either of these cards, but I wouldn't be super excited about it. But I'm just going to take the Vessel. Ooh, it's a Humble Brute. We got paid off. Humble Brute is good times and a very, very strong white card. Uncommon. So that's good for us. 
Um, Survive the Night's also playable, probably. Warp Landscape's very playable just because it enables uh, your Delirium. And then there's Graph Mole, who I'm actually a very, very big fan of. I want to draft this deck at some point in time. Uh, I need to see him a little bit early on, but the blue-green clue deck seems really, really fun. Uh, and stuff like Confront the Unknown and Graph Mole are the reason why. But I'm going to take a Humble Brood and be happy with it. All right, we got an Ox. Which one's this? Dies, target player discards a card. Okay, it's not bad. What's better? 2 5 for 4 that gets Vigilance and plus 1 plus 0 if you have Delirium. Or 4 mana, 2 4 the one who dies, and my opponent discards a card. I guess I haven't taken a black card yet, so there's not a lot of reason to take this. There is also a Warp Landscape. I kind of just want to take this thing, though. This is like. This, this thing beats up on Pillar Field Ox all day long. And we're already kind of working towards Delirium. We have an enchantment, we have uh, an instant. Of a creature, obviously, this guy excites himself, but I think I'm just gonna go with the ox. This might be a slightly better card, I'm not positive, but I think this guy's. I mean, when he's at 3 5, that's insane. Warp Landscape would be my second pick, I think, out of that pack. Um, all right, we got Inquisitor, so he can he can pick, he can find his ox, he can make it home. Oxy, go back, go home. This card's just bad because there's just so few equipment, so I'm not very excited by it. There's a constable, which is more playable than that. And I could see taking a one of. This is probably the best card here. I could just take this. Spirits are white blue. Constable is not like exciting me too much. None of these red cards are very good. I mean, this guy, this card's good, but our deck looks gonna have a bunch of flyers and stuff. I'll just take the spirit. Ooh, rewarded with more spirit stuff. Actually, there's an angelic purge, which is probably the choice. Um, the bidding here means that black is likely very open as well. We could we could take one of these mediocre blue cards, but I think Angelic Purge is a big payoff here. We can also sacrifice things like our vessel if we want. I think yeah, sacrifice a permanent. All right, got Doggy. Uh, well, I mean Stitch Manger wheeled Wield, and it was one of the better cards in the pack, so I might just want to take it here. I mean I could take Doggy or I could take the Mangler. I'm for sure white. I'm not for sure blue. I think Mangler is slightly better than Doggy. <laughs> this art is so bad. <laughs> it's like the worst art in the set. Uh... Alright, I'm going to take Dog. I don't know why, but I decided I was going to. I could take Dancing Scimitar. What is this guy? Creatures. Oh, this card's good for us. 4 mana, 3 3 to common. That pumps all of our guys plus one plus one. I'll take it. There's also neglected heirloom, which I think is playable. But you need transform creatures, which we we have a transform permanent, but that doesn't work. Got a homunculus or another vessel. I'm gonna go with the homunculus. Could take the far bogs here, or I guess senseless rage is also an option. But this card is like a playable two drop, and we are short on two drops. Uh, sure. Ooh, that's a nice gift. That's kind of nice too. All right, we got some got some decent cards there at the end. It looks like blue is we already got two big incentives: the three-three flash flyer and just the winner, both quite strong. Homunculus is playable. Just the win makes our uh, makes our companion pick look a lot better. <laughs> Such a companion. All right, what do we got? We got a Silver Strike. We got another Angelic Purge. We got a John Yard Explorers, which is, I think is quite playable, even in an aggressive deck like this. Uh, Ethereal Guidance is okay. We don't really need it that bad. I think we're just going to take a Silver Strike here. There is also Inexorable Blob, which is playable, and uh, Tooth Collector, which we could take. A Curse Witch is probably worse than T Tooth Collector. Um... Because Tooth Collector just kills something and then repeats. It, it's going to be a really strong card against us, which is going to be frustrating. We do have an Angelic Purge, I guess, to deal with it. I just don't. I don't think that's enough reason to go to, to go into black when there's like a fine white card for us here. It's not even a blue card; it's a white card. So, all right, I'm gonna take it. Let's we'll see how that goes. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's the indestructible thing. Not a huge fan of that. 
I am kind of a huge fan of this card. Just because it gives you... Well, I guess it doesn't actually give you two cards for Delirium because it comes back into play transformed. Hmm. All right. Well, our other options are we have Ghostly Wings here, which is fine. Another inspiring captain, which might just be our pick. We're actually kind of low on token makers, but I guess we'll find more. I could take Ghostly Wings. I'm not a huge fan of Ghostly Wings. All right. Another inspiring captain it is. You see how inspired I am by that pick? Ooh, okay, we have a uh, we have another flash flyer, which is probably the pick here, just because the back's kind of weak. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the researcher, since we don't have a lot of instants and sorceries. Um, deny existence is meh. This card's bad for the same reason the researcher is. Yeah, we'll just take another flyer. All right, we have. Two mana, two two that gains flying with delirium. That is exactly what we're looking for. Something cheap that is relevant late game. Gone missing is fine. Another dog would be fine, and broken concentration would all be fine. But this card is something we actually actually want. I want to get rid of this Falcon Wrath Gorge, but we need a one drop first. That's the rule. Uh, all right. I think explosive apparatus might be the card to do that because we might play it. There's a chance we play it. We have a couple things with Delirium already at this point. The Ox and the Drifter. Um, and, you know, it's not the worst card in the world. Ooh, there's also a Gossiper. I don't know if that's... All right, so let's see. We have quite a few decent options here. Plus one, plus one for each creature you control. And gets first strike if you're a human. Uh, there's also a land here. Probably not going to take it. Uh, there's a Town Gossip Monger. Which turns into a 2-3. This card might be sweet. Otherwise, there's a 5 mana 2 4. You get a 1 1 white flyer. This card's probably the best card for us, realistically. And then we, we see to wheel this, maybe, if we're lucky. Yeah, I'll just be smart. I'll be smart. All right, got another apparatus a Survive the Night. Uh, a Mangler. I think I could take a Mangler at this point, actually. So that's our warp landscape, which again I would take it if there wasn't a better playable here. Uh, <clears throat> not really feeling any of these cards, but I'm gonna take another ox. Another ox. Alright, so we have another homunculus. Two and skulk, I think is like pretty fine. There's an explorers, which is probably better than uh, I guess it's probably better than ox. Maybe not, though. Maybe we should just take the Monculus, though. It's another two drop, which we're going to be short on. Ghostly Wings, I think, is a pretty easy choice here. I was hoping Ghostly Wings would wheel, just because it is, it's an enchantment. It helps us out with uh, Delirium. Plus one, plus one, and flying on many of our things is pretty good. Uh, I don't really want the guidance, so I'm just going to take the non existence for the sideboard. Don't think I'm going to play this. Maybe I will. We'll see. We'd like a couple more token makers. I mean, we got the emissary in that pack, but that's not the, the best token maker in the world. Ooh. I like both these cards. I kind of like this. Maybe. I don't know if I like this better. I have quite a few spirits. Oh, well, I took it. So. <laughs> the plus one plus one card. We, we can't have too many of that effect in our deck. So I'm not sure if we want to play that or not. We already have Westphalia Abbey that's asking us to count them. So I'm not sure. Maybe it was correct. Alright, we got two of the slaughter, ghostly wings. Oh, there's a stitch wing scam. I think that's the pick. Just a flying dude. He flies and he comes back. There's also another inspiring captain. 
Again, we need more token making before we get excited by that. But I'm, I'm down to take a Stitch Wing Scab. There's also two to slaughter here, uh, which is not very good limited, I would say, since the Planeswalker Clause is basically never relevant, so it's just three mana edict. Uh, Toppelgeist is a big game and a great one drop and a spirit and it has a delirium that we care about and I can't say enough about it so I'm going to take it. Uh, there's also prized amalgam which is not very great but you can maybe have a deck where it works. Toppelgeist it is. Toppelgeist into tenacity plus one plus one and lifelink and untap or man this card's real good isn't it? It's also an asylum, isn't it? What is this on this note? Is one of four tickets, not worth it. All right, so it's tenacity or an emissary or just the wind. I have two inspiring captains and a million four drops, so I kind of just want to take an emissary, but tenacity is real good. I could just cut another four drop for this, I feel like. This card's so good. I just can't pass. I can't. I can't find it in me to pass that card. Ooh, three drop to fly some dust stuff. Um, so we're gonna make a couple of cuts. I think Essence Flux might not make it. Then again, it might. Probably can cut one of those guys. Probably need to cut one of those. Could be correct to cut one of these inspiring captains too. This is 23. All right, there's a Cathar, which is a big game for us. It's a token maker. It's also a three drop. Okay, then we get Fox, Foxy Lady, Griff Spoon, which is I think pretty good. Um, and I think we could easily play one of. I'd probably cut the S and Flux for it. Or, like I said, we just take Fox, which would probably replace a Skulk. Could see doing that. There's also Expose Evil, I suppose, although I'm not too excited by the aspect of that. I think I'm going to go with the Griff Boon. I don't know what I'm going to cut for it, but we'll figure that out. Ooh, there's another Flash Flyer, Strength at Arms, or a Brain in a Jar, which is, I just want Brain in Jars. Let me see what Brain in Jars were. It's probably not, like nothing. Yeah, 0.37. Alright, not taking Brain in a Jar. Uh, but there is another Spirit, another Flash Fire guy, which I think is probably the best pick. We have a lot of flash. Oh my gosh. Alright. I think Pup's gone. I think one of those is gone. I think that's currently our deck. Gone missing. Not a hundred percent about this build. We could cut. Um, no, I want that. We could cut the apparatus, I suppose. We have two enchantments. If we add a, how many instant sources here? Uh, one instant, two instants, three instants. One sorcery, for instance, so you have four instance and one sorcery. So if we replace the explosive apparatus with a sorcery, I guess I'd be okay with that. So it could be gone missing. Well, there's just the win, so I'm going to play that over it. Don't think this is better than just the win in our deck. 
I guess, I mean, it, it's strictly better if we don't have a lot of madness, which we don't. And we do have one, two couple zombies, so never mind. It's better than just one. Uh, sure. Is there another cut that's better than that? Two just the wins. I only have two zombies, but that still means that uh, compelling deterrence is better. So I guess to get delirium in my deck, I need to get instant creature. Enchantment, which I can do, and then I only have one sorcery. Can't get my land. I don't think I mean no cards. I mean Toppelgeist is perfectly fine as just as a card, but it's mostly whether I want to. I cut both of the oxes. The only other delirium I guess on my deck is Drifter, which is just a fine card. Do I want to help it out with like something? I could add nagging thoughts and explosive apparatus. These are a sorcery, I guess. Could add a gone missing instead of a just the wind or something. It seems kind of bad. I think I just basically just am okay with Delirium. Maybe I cut the Moreland Drifter for Skulk or uh, Homunculus with Skulks. Since I'm just going to get Delirium so infrequently, basically. I can discard a I can discard a land to Ghostly Wings, and I can discard a land to Stitch Wing Scab. I could sacrifice a Lance Angelic Purge. Oh wait, I have an Inspiring Captain here. I don't want that guy in here. Um, could it be a companion? Could be... Well, could be a Silent Observer, I guess. Maybe I do just want that guy in here. It's a one off. Alright, let me double check my lands again. Alright, things I could discard lands. One. Two. Three. Three things to get rid of a land. If I get rid of a land, <coughs> or if I draw my one sorcery, which is one of the things to get rid of a land, so I guess it's kind of relevant. <sighs> so right now this is... Oh, I needed to cut a card anyway. So we're good. This is 23. Alright, I kind of like this. I like the triple bounce spell. Double homunculus seems pretty sweet. I think we'll turn on the Westville Abbey at some point. Alright, nine... Um, Alright, I think it was easy enough. Pretty straightforward build. We kind of built most of our deck as we went along. Uh, we ended up relying less on Delirium. We do have some really good sideboard cards, though. Both Oxes can come in against other aggro decks. We have Silent Observer against uh, other flying decks. Um, guess we could bring in, we could definitely bring in Cathar's Companion or the Gone Missings in some situations, as well as Essence Flux. So, have a decent little little shell here. And I like that we're pretty proactive with, with plenty of uh, ways to interact, which is which should be pretty important. We have a lot of flying, uh, and flying is always good. So, we'll be right back for uh, round one of this draft. It's Swiss, so we'll be playing three rounds regardless. And I'll see you guys here shortly.